welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe because we do a lot of great DIY projects, mommy videos, and also a lot of lifestyle videos in this channel. So make sure that you subscribe. I'm literally days away from having this baby. Surgery is literally like five days away, so I'm super excited for this. But I did want to share with you a DIY that I did for this baby's particular nursery. These gorgeous beaded mirrors are so magical, whimsical, they're very feminine, they're also super unique, and they all go for really expensive if you buy them in the store. I wanted to show you a recreation. It turned out so well. I am so in love with this project. So let's get started on this video. So it was a bit of a guessing game deciding what size I should pick for the mirror and I decided to go with the biggest ones. They are the two inch ones. They work so well with the size that I chose. I'll put a couple links of these split balls in the description box below. I'll also link this chalk paint that we use and I love this one because it's a little bit matte. Now you can paint your beads whatever color you want but I went for the white and you can also make them a little bit more rustic just by using sandpaper but I wanted the full on white so I painted 44 of these beads ended up using 42 and that's because I went with a 28 by 28 mirror this was frame gold so I ended up touching that up with a little bit of the white chalk paint and just so that you can't see the gold on the sides. After that dried, I used some E6000 glue, a very, very durable glue to put down the beads. I held them down for a good five to six seconds so that the beads wouldn't topple over and leave that to dry for a full 24 hours. Now, if you wanna do the other design that I also showed in the beginning, all you have to do is take some of the full size beads and string that onto some rope or string and then glue it in the back of the mirror and then glue the half spears where you see the arrow going down like right here in this photo. Comment down below and let me know if you wanna see a full tutorial on that and I will try to do so. These are super fast, they are super easy and such unique pieces for your home. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. We have a lot more tutorials, mommy videos coming up in this channel. So please make sure that you subscribe. If you love this DIY, make sure you give it a big like and also comment down below and let me know that you've seen it. And hopefully I will see you in the next